All right. Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to me fixing my freaking cars. We got a new car to fix this time. Today we have my, I can't flip the camera. Uh, there we go. 2016 Toyota Corolla, because the 2008 was getting a little bit of rust on her. So we're gonna do some spark plugs because the saying has 186,000 miles because the previous owner was a traveler and traveled quite a lot. Um, it was really well maintained, but they did a lot of miles per year. So they wanted to get something uh, a little more suited to what they needed. And my car had a bit of rust. So we made a nice little uh, nice little transaction. And now this little, little guy is mine. So we're going to do some spark plugs that I don't... Pretty sure I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't think. English is fun. I don't think they've been done in a little while. Um, should be fairly similar to my 08 Corolla, but we're going to see. So, first thing we're going to do, and it's a little hard to see, because um, I have this thing pulled up a little bit farther, so my big overhead lamp's not really over it. But first thing we're probably going to do is disconnect that guy. I'm not sure if it's really necessary, actually, or not. Not even, not even kidding. I don't actually know if it's necessary or not. Um, but we're going to do it anyway. Then we're going to work on getting this cover off so we can kind of get at what we need to get at. I'm not even joking with you guys right now. I am 30 seconds into my job and I have already dropped my ratchet down into the engine bay. Okay. Get, get down. There we go. So now we have the cover off. It literally is just, you see these four pins here? That is what holds the cover on. It just goes down under the, under that. Probably should look at at least vacuuming that out or kind of cleaning that up a little bit. Not sure yet, but I'm kind of take a look and see what things are doing down in here. Um, take a look and see. Not finding any major cracks, just taking a feel on the belt there. Let's take a look down here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any major cracks. That looks like it's pretty decent yet. Um, no major issues there. She's a little not clean, so you can tell. A little bit of uh, oil spilled here or there. But these, these are your spark plugs with the boots in them. So these look like they're probably either nines. Uh, these bolts are probably either nines or tens. So one of the important things with uh, taking care of spark plugs is making sure, absolute sure, that you are paying attention to what uh, spark plug is going where, what plug is going where. Make sure your boots are all in order because if you get them out of order, say good night. So pay attention. So now we have all of our um, bolts off. I've got the first plug off. Usually what I do is I just take, um, disc, got to disconnect from your wiring harness and that boot should come right up nice and easily. That's what she really looks like right there. Ta-da! There's the boot. So now to get the spark plug out, I think you might be able to see it possibly all the way down in there. She's not really focusing, but see it's all the way down in there. So what I use is I have a specialized 5 8 um, dupe well socket that's like made for doing this type of thing. It's kind of hard to see. It's not really, there. it kind of focused a little bit, but it's made for this type of thing. So I have it on one of my extensions. I'm hoping that these are a similar distance to my 08 Corolla because otherwise I'm going to need a longer extension. Um, I'll just attach that to my ratchet though and see if we can get that little sucker out of there. So we finally got it out. This is our spark plug. It's got a little like a little, I don't know what that is. A little burnt router. I don't like it. It's got some, it's hard to see. It's got some corrosion around down here. So, um, the pain in the butt part about this is how I had to get it out. So, this doesn't fit my 5 8 deep well socket that's made for these, uh, oh gosh, spark plugs. So, for some reason it doesn't fit. It fits the actual spark plug itself, but it doesn't fit down into that hole. So I had to use my size 14 deep well, but you'll also notice kind of where the angle of this, it goes right up into here. So I have to like push all the pins out of this guy here. So I can push this guy back enough to get this straight enough to get down in there get it out and this isn't magnetized nor does it have anything in it like a normal uh, spark plug socket would 
I don't have the socket here anymore, but a normal bark plug socket has stuff inside it to be able to grab that plug out of there. This one doesn't. So I had to go run to AutoZone to grab this guy, which is a magnet with a light on the end of it because spark plugs are, oh, excuse me, spark plugs are magnetic. So as long as I get it loose and get it spun out, I can get it out of there. So I had to work it. It's, it's working though. We've got the first one out. It looks like garbage, so we're definitely going to replace them. We're not going to be uh, just cleaning them up and putting them back in there. I never really do that anyway because it's so cheap to replace them. So we're going to be replacing them. i got to take a look at the boot here and see what condition that's in and see if I need to replace that as well, probably, because it's usually standard to replace both at the same time. So this is the new boot. Uh, where's the old boot? There it is. There's the old boot. A little worn out. I don't think it was originally black. They were probably originally gray, but a little worn out. Um, it's a little bit of the dielectric grease in the side there. I didn't have any more, so I had to kind of use the old stuff. But yeah, it just pops off. Um, it doesn't like to just pull off though, so I had to kind of like use a screwdriver and kind of pin, pinch it off. And then um, there is a small little guy. I don't know where it is. There it is. Hold on. Ah, there she is. That's a little spring that goes inside that connects... Um, connects in so that just drops inside um right inside this housing you can kind of see it it's that guy right there uh drops inside that housing so you just want to put that in the housing first shove the housing back on to the nozzle right here and then this guy will go right back on our spark plug once we get the new spark plug this guy installed hello everybody and welcome to day five of this project um, the reason this is day five is because of this. These are the threads to one of the spark plugs. So this is on a number five screw extractor right now, and this is because I over torqued bank one and uh, busted the threads right out. So this is what, as soon as I find it here, there we are. That's what happened. The threads came right off down there, left the rest of it. So I had to extract the threads out of it. That is why you don't over torque them. They're supposed to look like this is one of the old ones. That's what it's supposed to look like. So you can see kind of how that fits on there. Yeah, don't over torque them because uh, that's what happens. Uh, during the small break I ended up, um, I took the one, took the uh, threads out of bank one did bank two and three and four here. Um, those are already in and done. Got the new spark plug in. I ordered in the new spark plug. So that's here now. So now we're gonna take that out, very carefully drop that down. I put a cloth in here so nothing would fall down in there. Um, very carefully drop that down in there. I don't think there's anything in here that we have to worry about necessarily. I'm gonna stick the magnet down there just to make sure that there's nothing down in there that's loose that it can, uh, like a washer or something like that. Uh, then we're gonna drop our new spark plug down in there very, very carefully. Hand tighten it until it's pretty too tight to go by hand and then do a couple little turns with that guy. That's kind of what I've done for two, three, and four here and it seemed to work pretty well. And then we will reconnect the battery and see if this thing tries to off itself. So that was pretty quick to do. So now we've got our four banks in four new spark plugs we've got our battery reconnected i'm going to leave the cover off for now because now it's time to start her up and see if it dies all right she's running she sounds good no issues sweet so the two other things that we're going to be working on today is we're gonna get these guys on because I like having blind spot mirrors. Um, I personally believe when you're driving, you should have a 360 picture uh, wherever you look. So we're gonna be putting those guys on here today. And the other thing we're gonna be working on, yeah, as my neighbor tries to kill their lawnmower, is putting this guy in. And underneath the vehicle, oh, oh, should be a few holes. I'm not sure how well the threads are. They kind of look a little old. So we're going to kind of see how well that works. But that should thread in 
to this guy right here over on this side. Oh, as I scooped myself, it's gonna be a little harder. But I think it'll still work. Um, I think we'll still be able to get there. Um, but yeah, I'm working on that. See if it works. So I ran out of time to kind of finish that while I was doing that um, because I had some other stuff to do. Blind spot mirrors are on though. We're all good there. Um, the hitch did not go on yet because I don't have the right size bolts because I bought that one for the 08 Corolla. Um, and the holes are a little smaller. So I'm gonna have to get some new bolts and see if I can get that one put on there. Um, but I just took it all the way up north um, to work on my buddy's house, um, then drove it all back south, so it's running good. Spark plugs are doing good. Um, job is complete for now. Have fun, bye.